Bridesburg. Somebody once asked me uh, if they could, if you could think of one symbol to represent Bridesburg, what would it be? And it's 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 this shot right here, Bridesburg. But Bridesburg's so much more than a chemical plant <laughs> and sewage treatment plant. It's also a neighborhood, the neighborhood I live in. So anyway, go ahead, Amazon. Know what's funny? Amazon has a distribution center in uh, Bridesburg. And if you leave your house, go ahead, hon. If you leave your house around 9 a.m., you will be stuck on Richmond Street for five minutes as a caravan of uh, Amazon Prime vans come pouring out of the distribution center. Horrible. This is Miller Street. There's a house for sale. Let's see. 4524 Miller Street. Let me know. What's it going for? How you guys doing? All right. He waved. What's that? It will be on the video. There you go. Good job, boys. You'll be on two days or so. No problem. Young kids. Look at this pavement. Brick. Huh. All right, so this is Goal and Lefevre. This is uh, one of the main streets you can use to get out of Bridesburg and get you towards Aramingo Avenue. And I think that's what we're going to be doing is scooting around here. Um, my my house, or my neighborhood is uh, three miles from Kensington, maybe four. Might even be closer. I don't know. But um, I could show you that if, and even in this area, there are still, you know, we still deal with the issues that they have in Kensington, just not uh, as dense of a pot or, or as many. Boy, see, see what happens when you try to talk smart. There's just not as many people and a, not, a lot of bullshit. That's see, but I was going to say a densely population of the hum homeless community, but that who cares, right? Just just say it the way you want to say it. There was an encampment here. This is a notorious dumping spot um, dumping is a problem uh, it's a real big problem in this neighborhood uh, people just come here and dump trash and the thing that sucks is the, the trash dump is a mile and a half that way oh there, there's the encampment kind of reminds me when I was a kid we would uh, build forts out of the couch hmm Ramingo Avenue. One of the busier streets. Oh, I got the green light. Don't mind if I do. This is like one of my least favorite areas in the city to scoop, ride a bike. Pavement's almost non-existent. There's no, there, there is a bike lane across the street, but just scary. Very exciting. Three dollars and eighty-three cents for gas. You're probably excited, like holy shit, three eighty-three. That's pretty cheap. You see what these bastards do? with car wash. Uh-oh. 
home of the three dollar car wash. I hate gas. I don't get gas from here because of that. I will never get it. It could be 20 cents cheaper here. And I will still go to Royal Farms just because they do that car wash bullshit. I hate that. See, Royal Farms, they they got the, the, the real price up top. And then if you get a car wash, it will set you back at $3.75 a gallon. It's, um, Royal Farms, I, this is the first Royal Farms in the Philadelphia area. Um, it's kind of like a 7-Eleven or a Wawa. More like a Wawa, but they do fried chicken and fry food. Where Wawa's make sandwiches. They also sell beer. Uh, you can get gas. You can charge up a Tesla. So it's, you know, it's a magical place here at Royal Farms. It's okay. You know what they're doing? You know, a lot of places are doing this. Self-checkout everywhere. Self-checkout everywhere you go. Everybody's doing the self-checkout now. I... I can't imagine how many people don't scan stuff properly, right? And not even intentionally. Like sometimes, you know, people, you just misscan something. They must lose so much money doing it that way with the self-checkout that it would be cheaper to just hire more cashiers, I think. Or maybe not. I guess they're billion-dollar companies. They know, uh, they know what they're doing. This is the part where I shit myself. Oh, no, no, 95's not open here. Oh, yes, it is. Is it? Oh, I don't know. This is an entrance to 95. Fuck. See right here. Where do you go? What do you do? How does wheelchair Willie crawl? I guess you're supposed to be on the other side, but fuck. Oh, I'm stuck here. God damn it. Well, we're going to kick it in high gear. Oh, shit. That, see, this is the part. Why did I do this? All right, I'm going to watch this side. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cross the fucking street. Pause. one near my house, and uh, I'm kind of curious to see what it looks like. Um, it's it, it was opened last year. Um... They do these things now with these these trails. They just let everything grow. And, and uh sorry, I saw a shopping cart. I'm trying to keep my wits about me. When you see a shopping cart, that means there's no good mix around. You don't have to be a person on drugs on Kensington Ave to be a no-goodnik. There's a there's a certain type of person uh, who was a no-goodnik. Anybody pushing a shopping cart with a ladder in it, that's a no-goodnik. Guy riding a BMX bike wearing flip-flops, I'm telling you right now, he's up to no-good. That's a no-goodnik. Um, open wounds, a lot of wounds. Not wounds, wounds. W O with the D, not the B. Wound is baby. Wound. We're gonna get an amen. You see that graffiti up there on that wall? 
the um, the guy who did the O L L I N. Um, they have a thing. It's kind of like a fire extinguisher, and you put paint in the fire extinguisher, and you just shoot it up, and that's how he gets to uh, do that graffiti. So you got you got the chaos with the fire extinguisher. Then you got this guy, like mathematically perfect, measured, smile zero. I don't. I I feel like it needs landscaping. This trail. I'm not sure. A year ago, none of this was here. Like none of these plants. It was. It was just a driveway. So that's pretty. I mean, I don't know. I don't know who this helps having all this green shit. Helps the no goodniks to hide. They can build camps. Uh oh! Here they go. There's some more dumping. There's a feral cat right here. You see here? People build these nests for feral cats. That's like the tenth one of those I've seen. Nothing scarier than a feral cat. That's what I say. They don't know if they're a cat or, you know, sometimes they think, I don't know. They're just aggressive and angry. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. You see, if, if you're wearing a shirt, Oh, I don't know if that guy was a no good Nick. See, he was wearing a shirt and it was dirty. So he could have been working all day. It's that time of work day. So you gotta... You gotta... Oh, hashtag piss. Alright, this is Torsdale, Av. We're in the neighborhood of Frankfurt. This is a big, uh, I'll tell you what, this is the worst intersection in the city. I hate this intersection. I hate driving through here. They, they, they add Especially in my neighborhood, they've added so many stoplights and stop signs. Um, and when they set up these lights, the lights aren't synced properly. And there, these lights here at uh, Frankfurt and um, Tarsdale, there's lights here and then there's lights directly across. And it's just, it's always a clusterfuck. It's always a clusterfuck. I don't blame you. Uh oh. This was a uh, CVS. It closed a few years ago. A year and a half, two years ago, maybe more. My uh, my whole clock on time is is wrong. Uh, the pandemic. I just. I'm just not good at telling time. Like, I can't tell you two years ago or whatever. What's going on here? This, yeah, this is ridiculous. Open sesame. Uh-oh. Frankfurt and Torsdale. Tor. It's Tar. Torsdale. Do I say it right? I don't know. It's a bad intersection. 
So these lights and that light, and there's lights over here. Oh, it's a nightmare. It's an actual nightmare. This is Frankfurt Ave. Frankfurt in Hunting Park. I believe this is the Frankfurt Crick. I'm almost certain this is the Frankfurt Crick. Oh, oh, lock this monster. I have a friend, Pete. He has a YouTube channel. It's called Creepy Little Book. Uh, he helped me out greatly with this YouTube channel, especially when I was starting. And um, uh, he has, it's like a, it's, all right, Alex Jones is a conspiracy theorist, right? Pete doesn't do that stuff. Pete does stuff like um, Loch Ness monsters and UFOs, like, like kind of like Art Bell, if you know who Art Bell is. Uh, coast to coast, where they talk about UFOs and stuff. So anyway, Pete had me on as a guest to his podcast the one day. And, you know, um, the other, like, so there was like a panel of three people. And I, I, I didn't know this, but these people believed in the conspiracy theory that of the Loch Ness Monster. They're like, oh, the Loch Ness Monster. And I just got on there and laughed at them. I'm like, what are you doing? They did this, they they scanned the entire lock and they they did not find anything. It's like scientifically proven. We saw this. What are you, what are we doing? Why are we having this conversation? But that was the last time I did Pete's podcast. This is Pete's Clown House. Pete's Clown House is my favorite breakfast uh, breakfast spot in the city. Uh, you get one egg, toast, potatoes, with a PT Man special, two eggs, bacon, sausage, one pancake, potatoes, coffee, and tea. And uh, I think it's like $8, nine, whatever it is. You eat that, you ain't got to eat till dinner, and you might not even have to eat dinner. Um, it's a fantastic place. I highly recommend it. Now, look, some. I've been going there for about. 15 years and I would say I have a great experience 80% of the time and sometimes you know you, you get bad experiences sometimes so you know it's not perfect but when it's hitting on all cylinders it's an amazing spot And if you get the potatoes, if you get their potatoes, get it. Order them a little well done. They're good crispy. Hey, Jim, where should I leave that crane? Well, you know that abandoned street right near Frankfurt Ave where everybody dumps the trash? Oh, yeah. We'll put it there. Okay. Oh. Well, that's a, that's a famous painting. That sucks. Why would somebody do that? What is? Who is that painting of? I know this painting. Um, that's a Rodan. Yeah. Homeless community back there. The tent. Man, this street, I've never seen a street this dirty. <laughs> Not dirty, dirty like like trash, because I've seen millions of streets this dirty. I'm talking, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. The, the, like, this is the regular asphalt down here, right? And then this is just, this whole street's covered in oil and soot. No, 
No dumping. No dumping. I know you were thinking about dumping, but don't you dare. There's a sign right there. So we're still on Frankfurt Ave. We're going to turn. What's going on, man? What are you doing? Making pina coladas here? Do you have a, like people actually stop here and buy pina coladas? A lot? Non-alcoholic? Both. Both? Uh-oh. Well, you got to keep it on the DL with it. Uh, Mr. Pina, okay, Pinata 2022. And what do you announce where you're going to be? Uh, or you're always here? We always here except Monday. Mondays? Okay. Ten. How much are the pina coladas? Um, ten. Ten? And we have to get the booze for ten? No, the booze are fifteen. Fifteen? Okay. Well, thank you. all right, man. Thank you. I'm, look at that. Get yourself a pina colada. I will do that one day. Come back. I would get it now, but I have to go to the supermarket and grab something. Matter of fact, you guys want to go? I might even take you guys shopping with me. What do you think of that? Oh, look at this puddle. Oh, you want no parts of that puddle. Ugh. Ah, shit. Let's get on the pavement. How about we get on the pavement, stupid? That's an option, right? Oh, they must have just cleaned under here. Yeah, the city must have just cleaned here. So what they'll do is they'll get all the shit, they'll sweep it up and leave it here, and then so or maybe an organization cleaned it up. There's um, there's all types of uh, no good nickery going on around here. There's um, down this street. I'll show you. You go down this street, there's this railroad trestle. They go up here. <laughs> Pothole patrol. This is a street car's drive down. Look, look, see? Yeah. It's a two-way street. <laughs> There's a whole lot of illegal dumping going on here. Yeah, so you see this uh, fire hydrant? Uh, there's a, a community of homeless people that live up on the railroad tracks here. And they use this fire hydrant to wash their clothes, to get their water for the day. That's something I don't even, you know, I don't even really think about that when I'm down in Kenston Ave. How do these people, I mean, people give out water all day, but... Yeah, I guess that's the best way to do it with a fire hydrant. Yeah, see, there's a guy coming off the railroad now. Uh-oh, he looks... But yeah, there's a whole bunch of people up there. Uh, 
I guess we'll go this way. We'll do it. We'll end it at the supermarket. There's a factory. It's abandoned. Um, mm. I break it down. I wish you guys could see how much I dance when I'm listening to music and doing these scooter rides. It's a goddamn spectacle. All right, so this is Caster Ave. There's a red light camera here. A Caster in the Aramingo. Oh, goddamn it. Oh, that pothole almost killed me. No outlet down this street. I'll break the glass, I'll break it down. Uh-oh, spray paint. Vandal, ooh, hashtag this. Oh, vinegar, hashtag vinegar, what is this? Uh, see, look, now we got pictures of kids. That's depressing. And there's a railroad back there. Oh, oh, what is that? Let's get the fuck out of here. Garbage. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. My, oh. Holy shit. Oh, that's the worst smelling sh Oh, my God. Woo. Oh my god, that was awful. So here I am. Yeah, so they got a red light camera here. I hate, I hate, I hate the red light cameras. Because sometimes you got to run a red, yellow light. Yeah. singing the song and I also wonder what do they do if a funeral procession goes past a red light camera like that's my greatest fear being like I would stop I won't care I don't I can't I don't need to see you get dropped in the ground I'll I'll, I'll, I'll miss it no big deal I'm not running this red light I'm sorry it's, a, it's a, like a hundred dollar ticket. Yeah, see, there's this whole railroad here. You follow this. This is the same trestle. Uh, if you follow this, it goes up to where we were recently. But then you go in here, it kind of gets you into Bridesburg. Um, it lets off on Aramingo Ave. It gets into the chemical plant in Bridesburg is where that railroad goes. But if you walk along that railroad trestle, uh, or that that railroad track, you'll see there's several homeless people living back there. Telling me All right, Lidl. I got one in the Lidl. Let's do it. Hi. This is my favorite seat. I, well, I like Schmidt. No, I hate the shop rate in this neighborhood. I like this store better. 